right, from Harvard we have head coach Katie Stone, and then captains Kate Hallett and Lexi Lang. Coach, if you'll open up with a statement. It was a great hockey game. Uh, it's unfortunate that it ended the way it did for us. Um, but I'm really proud of our kids and how hard they played. And I think the overtime was honestly our best period. Uh, we had it going. We had, certainly had a lot of chances. Their goaltender came up big. And once again, our goaltender stood on her head. So, um, you know, very disappointed. I thought our players, you know, obviously deserved a better fate. But BU also earned the victory. Start with questions for the student athletes. Uh, in the first period there, after kind of like 18 plus minutes of uh, scoreless play, both teams scored in just over a minute span at the end of the period there. I guess if you could talk about what that minute was like for both the offensive and defensive end and what the mindset is going to the locker after a frenetic finish at the end. Um, yeah, I mean, like it was just a high energy, like last two minutes of the period, both offensively and defensively, and then when going back in the locker room. We were going back to the start of the game, 0-0, 1-1, tie game. And we just kind of tried to feed off the energy that we had when we scored the goal and then just tried to carry it out. But yeah. yeah, I think a big thing for us this season has been regardless of whether or not we're down in the last couple minutes is never getting deflated and continuing to come back until that clock strikes zero in the first period. And I think it was huge um, going into the locker room with a goal there and then using that momentum as we moved into the second. Yeah, she played unbelievable. She's really the backbone of our team. She stopped everything that came her way. Um, she did She did amazing. I think one thing that's special about Lindsay is she's a freshman, but the second she came in here, she owned her role. And you never doubt that she's ready to play come game time, come when her number is called. She's there, and she shows up. And that was clear tonight. Questions for Coach? So. Uh, I think it was like 6.59 left and um, 2.52, so kind of in the four of the last six minutes, uh, the team had those two consecutive penalties, but uh, you were able to kill them off, and I think there was a timeout in the mix there too. What's, uh, what's the mentality on the bench and as you're, um, as you're going through this kind of long stretch of penalty killing time? The whole time? We did a great job of killing penalties up until the very end of the game tonight, um, and uh, just a, a little miscommunication there at the end for us. but. Uh, you know, I, I think we've been doing a great job of killing penalties for, for a while now. We showed it tonight. They've got a strong power play. Um, and, you know, it was the business as usual. So it was just a matter of, of getting through that and then getting on to, the, getting on to scoring some goals. Well, that, was our, that was our hope. Coach, looking at a, at a finish this, like this tonight, uh, what does this mean for the, just in terms of how far the, these, all the four of these programs have come and where, where they go? Oh, it's awesome. I mean, the, the past two Tuesdays have been filled with great hockey games and a lot riding on them for every school. And the, the early game tonight was no different. I mean, that was a three versus seven or eight or whatever it was with national implications. So um, it's awesome to have so much competition, so much parity, and uh, great excitement. I mean, it was a, an awesome atmosphere for all the players to play in. Uh, in front of tonight, and I think that's what that's what these women deserve. I mean, honestly, they work just as hard as anybody else, and they deserve the opportunity to play in front of great crowds and and great environments. Any other questions? All right, thanks. Thanks for covering it. Thank you.